we've helped more people than these guys who claim Why is helping what is why is helping wait wait why is helping important to you? I mean because I know what it's like to be at the bottom. So okay, so we, are you helping someone if you give them an expensive watch? Why do you think we just do that? You must not know who you're talking to. I asked you to. a question. You didn't answer it. I give them the habits to build themselves. What did I something. ask you, though? I said, am I helping them if I give them an expensive watch? I give them habits, a mindset. So the I answer is no. To operate. So if you give no. them... But you guys are assuming we're only answer, doing no, no. stuff about materialism. Can a man answer a direct question? <laughs> Jesus Christ. These <laughs> f***ing... These Karens The answer is no. Fuck. Look at these f***ing Karens, Go ahead, dude. buddy. How the f***? did these guys even get up here? Why would you bring me here with people like you this? You didn't answer the question. I, I'm, so, trying, I'm trying to explain. So let me, let me ask this. Let me, let me ask this then. Why, why do you think, if, it's, if, if that's not what you consider losing control, right, what do you consider? Does he have to actually lay hands on him before you consider that losing control? That's a, the, the, we yeah. all know this man was sure. in prison. That's, that's, there's been signs of this man has lost control Absolutely. before. Absolutely. So he was a step away from losing control. Now, if if it wasn't all them goddamn witnesses there, like he said, you wouldn't be talking to me. So he was ready to lose control. It was just unfortunate that there was a lot of people around to see him lose control, and that's probably not a good look for him again, especially I when think, they got a lot of I witnesses. Think, hold on, 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 hold is enough evidence for me, for me specifically, that he had control of himself. The because man said, were, if, if we were, were not in here, a, if they were in a private setting, they wasn't on cameras and stuff. He would, he would have hit the hit the dude. Okay, and, okay. And the other well, thing, having a disagreement on, of opinion. Let me just say this one thing. And the other thing is true. The guy that was sitting in the chair mouthing off at the dude wouldn't have wouldn't have spoke to him like that. I Let see it all the time on panels. The guys get on the panels in these cubes. So they say all these made things. jokes. Let me, go ahead. Go hey, ahead. Hey, let me say Wait. something really quick. Let me say something just really quick to put this in like everyday life, right? So, Bruce, I hear you, brother. I think one part that y'all miss and what I was, I hate that my stuff keeps going in and out. One thing I was going to say to Trigger Trigger, because I think he went in on Poindexter again, right? <laughs> and we trying to make it seem like Poindexter, some type of goofy nerd that was just sitting there intimidated by this dude. Y'all might have missed when he said, what you finna run down on a dude that's holding heat in Florida? He said, what you finna run down on me? He was, he, 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 knew, he, he knew what he had on him the whole time. See, it, it's all about managing it, right? So you can put those feelings away and a lot of times you'll get these feelings, right? Rage is just one of those things. And I think it is necessary. Um, and like what fight or flight there's different things sometimes you're just going to need it but let's say you have things that happen to you uh there's there's other ways there's therapy there's uh or, or just managing it right and if you can put that to the side it doesn't necessarily have to explode uh fortunately for me i've gotten to the point right now where definitely the little things don't bother me and even sometimes the bigger things i just think before i move i think about what my next move is going to be. And uh, before that, it's like, what are the consequences of this? What's going to happen? What's the direct effect of what it is that I do? And I, I base my decision off of that. So us as men, we're going to have these feelings, but it all depends on what action you take behind it. And I don't think that if you know how to manage your emotions in a healthy way, that eventually you're just going to explode, right? I've, I've learned to deal with anger in more productive ways or just not just not addressing it. Just, you know what, man, I ain't going to let that bother me. I'm going to just ignore that. I'm going to just keep moving. I'm going to just keep keep going. And I don't I don't have any episodes where I feel like I need to explode, right? Uh, if, it's, it's if, if it's a situation that I have to defend myself or something like that, okay, you, you'll summon that for uh you know the greater good you're gonna get out of that situation but just because somebody pissed me off and people people do things that i really don't like or get annoyed but not to the point where i feel like i need to react it doesn't mean that i'm going to tolerate uh disrespect or anything like that it just means that i'm not going to i refuse to have an emotional 
response to anything. I feel it's important for us to consider everything that we're going to do and the consequences behind it. Uh, that's interesting, man. That's interesting. So, so I guess, yeah, you're doing this strategically because that's, he actually started to stand up to do. And that's what I mean by giving that assault back. Like you, you can't dominate with this false sense of masculinity. Right. All the dudes had to do was stand on the square. And then the last part to me was comedy. Would y'all hang out with these dudes? I'd be like, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with them dudes. Now, now what's interesting about now what's interesting about this, I'm gonna use terms that we use on YouTube all the time. A lot of people have a false understanding of this alpha beta thing that we're talking about. They think the rich bald dude is the alpha. He's he's fake. Uh, nobody even knows how to classify him. He's probably a delta male. They got rich. Start put, pulling all his cards and stuff. He doesn't communicate effectively. He cannot accept the challenge without, and uh, he can't give a, a effective redirect to having his intellect challenge. So he couldn't be an alpha on on any day. On any day, he couldn't be one. Now the dudes that he's trying to go against. It's funny because I always tell men, those dudes run society. Without men that think like that, you wouldn't have men that show up to work every single day and do transportation jobs and fix the roads. And uh, so if you take it upon yourself to disrespect the average working God fearing man, something's fucking wrong with you. That dude upholds society, like that man, those type of men. Like I have, I do not have it in me to disrespect them because of my advanced position in life. That's why, that's why I said that that dude was weak. I, if I was sitting on the uh, the dude side, I don't want to sit on the other side. Because the funny thing is, as you're watching the face of the other panelists, they don't want to really go against the 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 dude, the ball dude, but they don't agree with him either. And that last part was golden. Would y'all hang out with this dude? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with them dudes. So I thought that was funny. Hey, Darwin, your role model falling apart. Episode by episode, what's going on? Damn. No, he's not, my, he's not my role model. He got <laughs> all you need to do is get some white pants. You good? He's not my role model, but I can, I can, I can understand him. Just because he's he's out of line with the uh, uh, the way he's arguing or whatever, doesn't mean that he's not making good points, and I'm able to. Pause. That, I'm, able, I'm able to eat the nah, meat. He's all over the place. Respectfully, to, he's all over the place. I, I get. I'm just telling you what I I see. I don't see it the way everybody else see it. I, I get oh, yeah. that. I mean, but but, but, I but hold on, hold on. I don't think he's all over the place. I think the questions that they were asking was very loaded. When he asked them a question, saying, "What? Why do you think?" Uh, just giving him a watch with uh, me and Rich and giving him a watch is going to help him. He was trying to. When you just answer a question like that, you got to first make sure that, hey, look, you, I don't agree with the context of what you're putting in the question saying that I'm just giving a, a man a watch and I'm actually doing my favor. But I think he was trying to state that he was giving a man habits and a mindset so that he can go out and buy his own watch. But it was a lot of I can understand a lot of people wasn't able to catch that. And if you're biased, if you're already now you already now you disrespecting us, that's even worse. Go ahead, go ahead. You disrespecting us. That, that, but Darwin, that's even worse because he's saying I'm giving my man a habit, but they're just saying like you you teach a man how to fish. He fishes for he eats for life, as opposed to fishing for him. What he did by giving them a watch is fishing for them. I'm putting the knowledge and the experience that I've had gone through in your head so therefore you know how to navigate in these types of spaces these types of situations etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm giving you he example in real life he cleared it up the watch, he the watch is the end goal that is the dangling carrot in front of you he cleared it up that he wasn't the guy like i said he asked a loaded question in, more, in order for me to ask to answer that question it means that it's something inside of me agrees that giving a man a watch is gonna a, 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 a watch going to help him. That's why he cleared it up and said that he's giving him habits, a mindset so that he can go out and earn and be able to afford to pay for whatever the hell it is that he he desire. Let me so, ask you and I wasn't I was go ahead. When he got boxed in with reality and under adversity, 
he went to violence. I don't agree that he got the very thing he threatened. He said, if we were, I would slap you. He said, if we weren't here, you would talk to me differently rather than show. But it, but the wait, wait, wait. At the true. beginning of our talk, you said it was weak to indulge in such things. Did you not? I said it's I what give correct the context that I put it in. I said if you lose you, if you lose control of yourself, I think this is important to maintain emotional. Did he lose control of himself? No, I don't think he lost control. I, I stated that earlier before. I said I believe if he looked at this interview and saw how he behaved and he was to do it over again, he would say the same thing and would behave the same way. Yeah, I'm I'm up under the understanding that there are people out here that just are like that. And because mm -hmm. we don't, because we're not like that, we mm -hmm. we have a biased mindset about it. And we, we shoot it down when we see men who put them, who level themselves up and make themselves powerful and they express it in, in a masculine way because so, we've been real. So, I, I'm so, just trying to, I'm trying to explain. So let me let me ask this. Let me, let me ask this then. What? Why do you think if it's if if that's not what you consider losing control, right? What do you consider? Does he have to actually lay hands on him before you consider that losing control? That's a, the, the, we all know this man was sure. in prison. That's, that's, there's been signs of this man has lost control Absolutely. before. Absolutely. So he was a step away from losing control. Now, if if it wasn't all them goddamn witnesses there, like he said. You wouldn't be talking to me this. So he was ready to lose control. It was just unfortunate that there was a lot of people around to see him lose control. And that's probably not a good look for him again, especially I when they got a lot of witnesses. Hold on, 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 the because man said, were, if we were, were not in here, a, if they were in a private setting and they wasn't on cameras and stuff, he would he would have hit the hit the dude. And, okay, okay. And the other thing, having a good disagreement on, of opinion. Let me just say this one thing. And the other thing is true. The guy that was sitting in the chair mouthing off at the dude wouldn't have wouldn't have spoke to him like that. I let see it all the time on panels. The guys get on the panels in these cues. So they say all he these made things. jokes. Let me, go ahead. Go hey, ahead. Hey, let me say Wait. something really quick. Let me say something just really quick to put this in like everyday life, right? So, Bruce, I hear you, brother. I think one part that y'all miss and what I was, I hate that my stuff keeps going in and out. One thing I was going to say to Trigger Trigger, because I think he went in on Poindexter again, right? <laughs> and we trying to make it seem like Poindexter, some type of goofy nerd that was just sitting there intimidated by this dude. Y'all might have yeah. missed when he said, what you finna run down on a dude that's holding heat in Florida? He said, "What you been a run down on me?" He was he he, he, knew what he he knew what he had on him the whole time. Run over here, fuck around, and find out if you want to. You know that dude, Wes. You know the type of dude. Listen, man. You know that type of dude. <laughs> that's the bully in motherfucking school that we see pushing motherfuckers around until he pushed the wrong one and get the shit beat out of him. That's what happens, bro. That dude wasn't in control. Him jumping up out of that chair was a form of intimidation. Him raising his voice, him not allowing the man to speak, that brother wasn't in control. And we, I, I get it. We can have a difference of opinion. The reason why I'm on charge is because I recognize that behavior. These shorties deal with that type of dudes. And, and Viz, you know from being up here. You know what I mean? Them the bullies that we see in, in these schools terrorizing these kids till they fuck around and find out. Yeah, that dude wasn't in control of shit, and the, and, the, and the message that he kicking is dangerous. And they have a young audience looking at him behave that way, and he was mad because he couldn't roast dude. He couldn't roast either one of them and got more frustrated. He was, if, 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 if the two hosts, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, wasn't sitting in the middle, that's <laughs> what kept it from escalating. Right? But make no mistake, that character that we see in that dude and what he was displaying is very familiar. And that dude was two steps away from fucking around and finding out with a bullet in his ass. That's mm -hmm. what was going to happen. Cause Poindexter definitely was holding heat and he would have been straight in Florida. 